Hey YouTube! In this video we're going to be taking a look at these number 2 HB pencils from Arteza. Now this is a package of 48 which is actually four packages of 12. So we're going to crack this puppy open and we're going to see how does it compare to you know other HB pencils that I happen to have in my collection. Well let's find out. Okay, so it's time to rip this package open, but before I do that, I'm just going to give you a close-up of how it comes in the mail. It's just a plastic wrapped four boxes of 12. They're called premium, and they say they're wood case pre-sharpened, brake resistant cores, and latex free erasers. And I guess that's very important for anyone who's maybe allergic to latex. And these are uh, provided by Arteza. <coughs> Rip that old sticky off. Wow, that, it's reusable. Yay. Ooh. All right, so I've got to open up this plastic. And to do that, I'm going to use the old slice and dice apparatus. Do that. Crack it open like an egg. There we go. Four boxes of HB. Let's take a look at close up here of what they look like. It's a good looking box. Looks like some kind of design drawings on there. It says 12 HB number twos. You can see all the goodies written right there, the address. These are 2017s. Alright, and there you go. Nothing else to look at on the packaging. Pretty simple. And now, let's open it up. Let's take a look at what these pencils look like. And as you can see, they are somewhat pre-sharpened. And here is a close-up of this pencil. It's got a very neat looking eraser here. It is a kind of a lavenderish color. So it's not a red or a white, it's lavender color. That's the color I give it. It has kind of this uh, brassy, gold brassy, uh, ferrule, crimp type ferrule. Pretty standard on an H, on a standard pencil, I should say. It says here, uh, it's a Arteza Premium, number 2HB. And what I like is that it's printed on really nicely, black paint, on a matted, mustard color. And this is really a mustard color. It's not a bright yellow. Here I'll give you a pencil to compare it with. Like this Dixon Ticonderoga. You can see that's really yellowish. This one here is kind of a mustardish yellow. Almost a Dijon. You know. And um, comes already pre-sharpened. And the wood on there looks pretty good. See if there's a smell to it. That's a little bit. Either that or it's my imagination or my newly growing in mustache. Who knows. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to actually sharpen this again though because you know me, I like my long points and this certainly, you know, these pre-sharpens come with these very sharp points, like uh, short points and I happen to like them longer so I'm going to put it in my Mitsubishi KH20 and give it a respectable sharpen okay and then we can take a closer look at the wood casing here I don't see it splitting anywhere that's good so so far that's looking pretty good and I like the fact that if you'll notice that the graphite core is really well centered. How do I know? Because when it's not well centered, you'll see something like in this Ticonderoga here. You get more exposed lead on one side than you would on the other. See that? And that's due 
to a slight offset from center. So in this case here, which is very interesting, is that this Arteza pencil is like virtually spot on. Now this of course is just one pencil out of 48, but I'll sharpen another one just to make sure and see if there's some consistency. Matter of fact, I think I'll just do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this one. And it's a good thing I did that because now we can see that it's not necessarily consistent. Here you can see that it is not well centered. So this is pretty common. It's unfortunate, but it's common. You have a slight offset and uh, it does that. So it's a good thing I sharpened more than one because I was going to say that this was this would be fantastic if all the pencils did that. That would be like, wow, okay. But, you know, got all kinds of pencils on my desk here. So I'm going to compare it to these pencils just to get an idea of how it writes. So, let me back off a little bit. Okay, so here's the Arteza. And by the way, uh, as a number two pencil, I think by appearance, the appearance of this pencil, I would rate it really high for a number two. It looks really good for a number two pencil. I really like how clean this lettering is and everything on here. So I'm really, really hoping it writes really good for a, an HB pencil. So here we go. This is the Arteza. Yeah, that writes really good. Arteza, okay, it's the number two HB. Okay, and this is premium pencil. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on that. I hope that you know you'll be able to see it if I do that. I'm right handed, so that's why there's a tilt to my paper instead of it being straight up and down. I apologize for that but I need to be able to, you know, write normally here. Okay, right off the bat, this thing has really good tonal value to it, and it feels good going down on paper. As a matter of fact, it's, if I was to put it on a scale, you have, you have your pour here, and you have your really, really good here, and you have this scale just like this. Well, I could tell you this. Here's the middle. This pencil falls somewhere in the upper echelon of HB pencils. I can seriously tell you that at least this batch or this pencil in my hand right now feels really good. Feels really good. It's smooth. It's got good tonal value, which in my case is referred to as dark. It's a good dark number two pencil. It's not a black pencil, but it's a good dark pencil. Now, I'm going to compare it, for example. I have my, um, I'm not going to do the black wing right away because that would just not be fair. But I'm going to do this, uh, let's see. Now this is, this Ticonderoga, by the way, is a number one pencil. And I believe this was one of those number ones that are made in Mexico that doesn't really write that well. So I i got to get rid of that one because it really isn't a number two pencil in the first place. It doesn't even write like a number two. Here is a number two HB. Uh, this one here is the Murado Black Warrior from Paper Mate. It's a round pencil. And I'm going to give it a sharpen as well, just to be fair. All right. And you can see, like, it has its slight offset see it's a little longer there than it is there so it's pretty common unfortunately and so I'm gonna go ahead and test this one out here after writing with the Arteza number two so this is the Murado Black Warrior now the Murado Black Warrior is a, one of the pencils I happen to like 
it's a little on the scratchy side, but I happen to like it. HB number two. Um, when I compare that, however, with the Arteza, Okay, just eyeballing it, I don't see a difference in the tonal value. So they're both pretty much the same. As far as feel, you can hear that the, um, or you can or cannot, I don't know. The Black Warrior is a little louder in the scratchiness, so that's clearly it's got a little more resistance when I write with it. So the uh, Arteza is actually smoother than the Black Warrior is in this test. Time for a new sharpen here before I wear that all the way down. Still sharpening dead center, that's pretty nice. All right, so the other one I'll test it with here. Now here is a it's called a Camlin exam that I just happened to have on my desk. And it's got this super point on it from that sharpener review I did that makes these super points. So I'm gonna put it in my Mitsubishi and get me a regular point if I can. Let's see, we'll at least get a point on that thing. Let's see. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Do it again. There we go. Get a point on there. Okay. Now let me try this out with this Camlin here. I don't remember what the Camlin does. It just was sitting on my desk. This is the Camlin. Yeah, that writes nice. That's why it's on my desk. Okay. Very smooth. Koku. Yo. Camlin. LTD. And then, of course, the Arteza. Number two, HB Premium Pencil. All right, again, they seem quite comparable to me. Let's see? It just matches up to everything that I've got here on my desk. The Camlin. The Arteza. I, I, I like the Arteza better, personally. But there's no difference in tonal and they're both good pencils. All right, now here's an HB pencil called the uh, Sarah Gold for executives, and it's supposed to be one of the darker pencils. Look at that size of that sharpen on there. Again, this was uh, that long point sharpener test that I did. Just need to get a point on this thing. All right, there we go. I got a point on. I'm not going to break the tip off this. All right, so the Apsara, let me see how it compares with an Apsara. Well, that's Scratcher already. Yeah. So I don't like this as much as I like the Arteza. No, I like the Arteza better. So the Arteza HB Pencil, actually, surprisingly, I didn't really expect much from it. I've had it in my box here. Uh, to be re, you know reviewed for some weeks and been putting it off not excited but I think I should have opened this package up a lot sooner because uh, it's really a darn good pencil it is a very good HB pencil it is it I can't say anything bad about it um, and I'm allowed to say whatever I want because <laughs> it's my channel uh, I'm not too crazy about this gold pencil here but it's okay. Um, I'm not excited about it. Okay, 
So let's see, we've already did that one. All right, now I've got, of course, my Blackwing Pearl. And, you know, to be fair, this Blackwing Pearl should kick its butt. I mean, seriously, it just should just kick its butt. The number two pencils, in my opinion, number two pencils will not be able to compete with this absolutely gorgeous Blackwing Pearl, which has got a balanced graphite to it, so that it's actually supposed to be uh, tonally darker and smoother than your standard number two pencil. But I want to just see how close it will get. But, you know, we're not, I don't think it's going to compete with it, but I just want to compare it. That's just how it is. So, again, I'm going to write with, well, let's see, I'll write with the Arteza again. So, this is the Arteza. Really nice. Nice and smooth. HB. I like that. That's very nice. Okay, and then we have the Palomino. Yeah, there's no contest. Palomino Blackwing Pearl. Total awesomeness. All right. So, the black wing blows it away. Uh, it's just smoother, silkier. It's even darker. It can say it's darker. And it, you know what? And it's supposed to be. See that? It's supposed to be. But I wanted to compare it pencils that are rated the same HB number two. And then I wanted to try it up against one of the more luxury pencils. The luxury pencils, of course, you know, uh, is a luxury pencil for a reason. This is just really, really in a class by itself. And, and of course, not fair to compare it to standard school office pencil, HB pencils. But for HB pencils, number two pencils, this Arteza HB number two, Premium, in my opinion, this is a premium pencil in that it does write really, really nice. It is smooth. I think it's a, the upper end of the HB number two pencils. That's my opinion uh, based on all these crazy pencils in my collection. This is definitely one that I like. And of course, it has earned its place in my collection box. Well, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey YouTube, I wanna thank you for watching my video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my upcoming videos.